Wow, feeling the love. This is spread city. Thank you guys, very nice guys. Where can I find a shoe cream? Let me know in the comments if I paid a, a, a fair price. What's up guys? I think he might be using some sort of polish. Pow. America. America. America, yeah, yeah. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. This is, gosh, maybe my third or fourth day here and I have just been so overwhelmed, so overcome with love. The city, the Bangladeshi people have been absolutely amazing. We find ourselves back at the new market. Why are we here? Well, tonight I'm going to show you how the ultra rich, how the very, very wealthy people uh, here in Dhaka, Bangladesh eat. We are going to get this, not a Bangladeshi restaurant, not an Italian restaurant, not a Korean restaurant, not an Asian restaurant, not a Chinese restaurant. We are going to a Japanese restaurant. We're gonna chow down on some real deal, authentic Bangladeshi sushi. I didn't even know that was a thing. I knew like what foods I wanted to eat coming here, but I did, I never in a million years did I think that the Bangladeshi people would love sushi. And so because the restaurant we're going to is, is very fancy and you gotta have a lot of money to go there, we, we, we gotta get ourselves a little better uh, clothing, you dig what I'm saying? We gotta freshen ourselves up. So we've come again back to the new market. I'm looking for a dress shirt, uh, number one, so we can, you know, look presentable if, if we're gonna eat where all the fancy people eat. Uh, and then after that, oh, assalamu alaikum, hello. Salam, salam. Oh, and he, he's, he's trying to sell me some underwear. Luckily, no one's gonna see my underwear at the Japanese restaurant, so they, those don't have to be that fresh. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, feeling the love in the new market to start, start things off. Hey, everybody. Abhinar Nam Ki? Pinky. Pinky? Oh, I love that name. Are these your friends or your family? Yes. F family? Sister. Sister? Hello, sister. And is that? Brother. Brother. Oh, nice to meet the pink, My sister, brother. Pinky and her family. It's nice to meet you guys. Bye. Yes, I love his, I love his. Uh, as I was saying, after we get ourselves a nice little dress shirt, we gotta go find ourselves a shoe shine because uh, these things are looking a little old, beat up and, and dirty, the Dhaka streets. And uh, Malaysia, where I was from before I came here, they did a number on them. So hopefully we're gonna be able to find a shoe cleaner and, uh, and, and get these things looking fresh and spiffy. Okay. First assignment. Let's uh, let's see where the fancy men's clothes are, the, the suits, and things like that. A little too hot uh, for a tie, if you dig what I'm saying. Don't even don't even know where to start. This is, we, I've come here before, and it, it just it, it it looks like I've never been here in my life. It's so so confusing. It's so big. There's so many styles, so many clothes from all over the world. Oh, what do we got here? Nice nice shirts. Not not particularly. My favorite style. I want to find something. What do we think of this? What do we think of this, y'all? This, this one looks wild, weird, and wacky. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. How are you? How are you? Fine. Real good. Really nice clothing. Very nice. Very nice clothing. Uh, a shirt like this. Uh, Kotu, Kotu Taka? How much? 550. 550 for a shirt like this. Okay. You are, you are a YouTuber? YouTuber, yes, You're yes. Uh, America. America. Apnar Namki? Muhammad Khalid Hussain. Muhammad, nice to meet you. Great name, strong name, Muhammad. John? Brent, my name. Oh. I'm Arnon Brent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a shirt uh, that I'll look good in. I have, to, I have to go to a really nice dinner, a fancy dinner, and so I need to, need to buy something Your that I will followers. look good in. How many? Your followers? My followers, uh, uh, somewhere over 475,000 as of. Oh as God. of right now across all, all, all platforms oh but numbers numbers don't matter it's it's all it's all about the love you dig what i'm saying i what, what size what size shirt do you think i wear man huh 16 your size yes yeah, six, 16 you think i wear i wear a 16 half sleeve oh, okay half sleeve 16. uh I, man I've, i haven't worn a dress shirt in a while so do you uh do you, do you have this shirt in my size like uh do you have do you have a shirt would, th would this fit me do you think one small size, yeah, yeah, yeah. This Ooh, size 15 and a half. 15, a little too small. Do you have this in a 15? A 16? Yeah, can I can I see this one in a, in a 16? And and maybe we try a 16 and a half. Okay, well, my man is, I think my man's gonna go run. Oh, he's, he's got it right here. Okay, this one your size. This one is my size. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, Kotu Taka 550. 550, okay. Can I uh, can I try it on? What? Mm -hmm. Sure.
All right, we're gonna try to get this one off me. <laughs> oh, the cricket jersey, a lot, a lot harder to come off than, than I thought. Okay, probably because that thing was just, just so covered in sweat. Okay, and this is a 16, eh? All right, 16. My man here is gonna help me oh, take out the buttons. Wow, full service. I feel like I'm, feel like I'm at a, a tailor here. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, this feels, this feels real nice. Oh, okay, okay. Mixing me up right here, getting me looking fresh. Wow, what do we think, guys? This, oh, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna take care of it all for me. Okay. It's a nice, nice quality shirt, man. It feels good. It's almost comfortable. Very comfortable. Much more comfortable than my, my cricket jersey, no joke. Wow. And, and this looks like a, a, a good fit, too. Looks like I got a, seems like I got a good range of motion on it. Getting, getting the full service uh, here. Button up every single button. Got the price tag on here. 550 taco, that's about $5.50 US. Oh wow, it's, it's perfect, like the perfect length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dig this. How the, how's the collar look? Nice, good, stiff collar. Oh, I, I like it, man, I like it. Would, would, would you take 300 taco? No, price no, fixed. No. Price fixed? Yeah. Can we, can we just do a little bit better? Can we do maybe... My, uh, my shop is a fixed price, your 50 taco gift, 500. You'll do 500? Yeah. Could we do maybe 400? No, 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 no. no? 550 fixed, your gift 50 taka. 550 fixed, okay. <laughs> Usually we try to have fun and bargain, but five 500 taka for, for a shirt like this is $5. Hey, and I don't want to be tag. late for dinner. Open oh, yeah. the tag. Open the tag? Just a minute. If yeah, it's def tato? definitely take that off. <laughs> That's a, a, a good deal, all, all things considered. You can let me know in the comments if I paid a, a, a fair price here in Bangladesh. We good? Very nice, okay. 500 is the deal? Okay, 500 taka. Donabad, my friend, Donabad. Mohammed, thank you. He just handed me his card. We are at the right man, and, and Mohammed was the right man uh, for finding me this shirt. That was easy. I thought we were gonna have to explore all over looking for a shirt that I would like, but this is good. Oh, we got some new friends in the, in the back here. Donabad, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. I will see you guys soon. All right. Mission accomplished. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Feeling good. Feeling fresh. And we, we, we got quite the audience watching me check on that. <laughs> Try on that shirt. Nice to see you guys. Okay. Next order of business is to start making moves towards the restaurant. I'm starving. I hope y'all are getting hungry too. Uh, but first, let's get the kicks clean and see if we can find somebody on the street to a Give me a little shine. We only took a few steps out of the new market and I think we might have found a shoe. No, no, this is like a handyman. Oh, this guy's repairing it. Assalamu alaikum, brother. He's like re repairing an umbrella, not a shoe cleaner. But what I love about, about Bangladesh so far is that you can find anything you need on the street. You don't gotta go, go to the mall. You don't gotta go to the new market. They got all the clothes you want in the street. They got all the food you want in the street. They got everything you would need that you could find in a store right here on the sidewalks and, and on the side of the street. So, oh, here's the Dhaka College. A lot of people told me I need to go to Dhaka College. We're gonna go there in another video. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Apna naam ki? Amar naam Rath Oh, a beautiful name. And you? Mahiba. Amar naam Brent. I have a question. I, I want to go get my shoes cleaned. Where, where can I find a shoe cleaner? I don't know actually. You don't know? Oh, maybe, maybe him. I need to go for it. Ah, okay. Are you students here? Uh, no. Oh, no. It's a boys college. Oh, it's a boys college. Okay. That would explain why you're not students. Thank you for Thank being you. so nice kind. To meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love this. Awesome. That's the energy you can only find uh, at, at a school, man. That the real, that real college life energy. I miss it. I miss it. Assalamu alaikum. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Oh, okay. I, I can't tell if this is a cleaning area. So, Assalamu alaikum. I, I think he might be the shoe cleaner, but I think he's on the phone right now. 
don't even know what to say. Just an outpouring of love and, and excitement, man. They they get so excited for the camera. And I'm, I'm so excited to see them. Hey, man, what is your YouTube channel name? Oh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you, brother. We got a lot of cool guys from the university out here. I got college. What from Dhaka College? Dhaka College. Nice to meet you guys. I like your shirt. Nice to meet you too. That, that's a cool. Yeah, that, that's a cool logo. My friends have told me that this man right here can can, can take care of my shoes. Assalamu alaikum, brother. <laughs> can, can, can you can you clean my shoes? Yes. Um, taka? How much? Twelve taka. Fourteen taka. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen taka. Fourteen taka. Forty. 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 Zero dollars. Zero point four zero dollars. Zero point. Okay. Forty or fourteen. Forty. 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 Zero. Okay. That's about forty cents in the USD. Okay. Yes. Yes. Please, brother. Oh, he's, he's gonna give me the slides to put on. I love this. Wow, this thing's super, super comfortable. Just feel like Nikes. Okay, yeah, just a nice, nice cleaning, brother. Thank you. While he does that, we might as well meet the guys here. What, what are you guys studying? Yes, yes. What, no, what, what? They're the students of intermediate level. Intermediate level. Ah, so, so they're not studying yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, now he's starting to get that first shine in there. First of all, very nice, very nice. Wow. How, how do you say good in, in, in Bangla? Valo? Shundar. Valo, nice. Beautiful. Shundar. You can say Shundar. Shundar. They, they told me Shundar is, is how it's done. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So, and this guy is doing a Shimurchka job. I really wish I would have. I'm, 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 I'm from America. Oh, America. Nice to meet you guys. How many days you will remain in Bangladesh? 30 days in Bangladesh. Oh, but I've, ar I've already been here like five days, so uh, maybe 25 yeah, more days. Oh, he's, he's busting out the toothbrush now. Maybe it's got will a little soap. Will you give time with us? I, I can today. I have to go meet a friend at a restaurant. But I will. But message me on Instagram, and we will, I will come back to no, Dr. No, no, Dr. But we want hold to be here. Put a hold can you, you, here. Can you give us time? Not today, but another day I can come back. Win, okay. win. And, and we will be waiting for you. Tuesday? 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 Yeah. Okay. Ta 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 take my number. Someone have WhatsApp? WhatsApp? Oh, what's up, what's up, what's up? Real quick, the, the, the man is going ahead. Not very nice. He's, go, he's going ahead and, and scrubbing every part of it with what looks to be like a soapy mixer. Bro, bro, please give you a just, just, just a crowd right here. Okay, I'm ready my number right here. My man is meticulously scrubbing every single square inch of these shoes. You can already see all that dirt coming off. They're already looking a lot darker and black than they were before. I, I truly don't think I've had them cleaned in like eight. Oh, you lost my number. <laughs> Oh. YouTube name, YouTube name. Oh, my YouTube name, okay. Here's the first one. Wow. It looks like it literally just came straight out the box, straight from the shoe store. Just like black. Yeah, it looks like new, man. Looks so, so like new. Oh, yeah, baby. Like, you, you literally can't even tell that I've ever worn these before. Oh, the bottoms weren't clean, but who expects the bottoms to be clean, right? This guy is doing an absolute, absolute mega job. We're definitely going to tip him. But full disclosure, I see all these videos where people do like, oh, honest shoe salesman or shoe cleaner gets a $200 reward. I think that stuff is gross. I think it's dehumanizing. I think it's a way of like buying views. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to tip the guy, but I, I don't believe I need to share the amount and make a big like scene out of or anything. That's just how I feel. Maybe other people want to see that or maybe other people want to do that, but we're we're just gonna we're just gonna take care of the guy. We don't need to broadcast that all, all over camera. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you guys. Very nice guys. Nice to meet you too. I wish I could have talked more, but thank you. Yeah. Message me. Nice Message to meet you. Me. Nice to meet have you. Have a good day. Thank you. Message me and we'll explore the college together. Thank you, brother. <laughs> just feeling the love, y'all. Man, the en the energy of these college students. You're you're doing a great job, man. Very nice. Very nice. I kind of want to buy a pair of these. Like I'm walking on air for real. I thought my shoes were comfy, but hmm, might be, might be all about that slide life for now on you, dig? Okay, now he's uh, busted out like this bigger black brush that he's using to kind of polish them up. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm curious if my hands are going to be like black after I touch my shoes. I think he might be using some sort of polish um, to clean them up too, but again, looking at this one, like all the little cracks and crevices Can you give you, yeah, you do, name? My YouTube, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you so, thank you so much, my friend. Very nice. You did a, you did a very nice job on these. These things look brand new. What, 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 do, what do we think? Take a look. Enjoy, enjoy, brother. Nice meeting you. Thank you.
And here we go, looking fresh to death. Okay, oh, I need I need to take back these. I need to give these back, sorry. I was, I was about to walk out of here with, with, with the slippers on. That would not have been cool. That would not have been cool. Thank you, thank you. Next, we gotta get ourselves some transportation to this restaurant. I think we actually have to call it Patau because it's just too far away for any of these rickshaws to bring us. Well, as you can see, uh, spoiler alert, we, we have not yet reached uh, the restaurant nor were we able to find uh, our Patel driver, a complete communication, transportation, electronics breakdown. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you guys, thank you guys. Uh, real quick, we are at the Hotel Nandini. This is where I'm staying. I was gonna save the hotel room tour for the end of the video, but literally guys, like I could not find the Corolla. I couldn't find the driver. And then my GoPro battery died. And then like the internet just stopped working on my phone. Like, you know how you got like 4G, E? It just went to G and then this is such a cool elevator. It feels like I'm on a golf course or, or something. And here it is y'all. Check out the hotel room before we get back on the road. Pop in that key card, turn all the lights on. Oops, that was a bad boy and left some of the lights on. Take off our, our, our newly cleaned shoes, although they definitely picked up some battle damage between the time that I got them cleaned and, and had to walk here. Sorry, I've destroyed the place in just the short time that I've been staying here. Uh, but the Hotel Nandini uh, taking really, really good care of me. Uh, we got a television. Nice big bed. I think that's like a queen size bed. We got a, a desk over here where I do all my work. Doesn't, doesn't look like much work is actually being done there at the moment. Just got here last night. Oh wow, it's, I'm not gonna show you the toilet. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, here's the, uh, I mean, everything is a disaster. I, I've trashed the hotel room, but it's a really, really nice hotel room uh, located here in the Don Mundi uh, area. Air conditioning and a big fan, that's, that's all that really matters. I just need a bed, a pillow, a desk, and a way to stay cool. Okay, time to figure out how I'm gonna get to this restaurant efficiently fastly because i'm we're already late we're already so so late man that was just i don't i don't even want to talk about what it took to get a vehicle to get a patao to try to get an uber uh from the don mundi area uh, all the way to Golshan. so much so much time that was lost and, and evaporated but we're good it gave me a little time to clean up a little, little look a little fresher uh for this this luxurious uh dinner we're about to have here and here's the spot ume I'm guessing that's not the entrance. I'm gonna guess that the entrance is right here. Oh, assalamu alaikum. This is our sushi chef, Ab Abnar Nam Ki. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Arnon Brent. Wow, look at these rolls. It looks like a California roll if I ever seen one. We got some super fresh salmon in the case. And just listen to that, y'all. It's so, so soothing. Wow, I, I, could, I could chill here. And most importantly, it's cool and air conditioned. All that really, really matters. Y'all, you're not ready for this. You ready for ready for the, the sushi reveal? Check it out. The guy, this 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 is spread city. It literally looks like I'm I'm straight in Japan right now. Like Tokyo vibes all over the place. I want to dig into this one. I want to go straight into the mackerel salad. I'm gonna get a little bit of that sashimi mackerel. I'm gonna get a little bit of that avocado. And then I think we've got some like sort of fried, gosh, fried like crispy noodle on top almost a lot a lot of crispy noodles in that one all right here we go pow mm, mm. that is melt in your mouth tender y'all the texture and the consistency of the mackerel it's like the same as the avocado it's just so so smooth so soft this is incredibly moist insanely tender the softness of it it pairs really well but with like these crunchy noodles give it kind of like crunchy texture element all around to it and then we've got some like salad in the bowl down here like mm. and they they put like a bunch of like seasonings and like looks like a sesame kind of sesame seed blend on this on, on the mackerel that's an outstanding piece of fish right there y'all this is this is a 4.8 rocket chip dish this is like I could eat this salad every single day, like insanely healthy, unreal, y'all. Let's get straight into uh, the raw beef sashimi. You can kind of see it's got those crispy noodles on top too, and oh, that was my napkin sliding up. Oh, and of course it's got the, the rice underneath, and oh man, my chop, you're gonna call me out for my chopstick skills. Ow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Whoa. That's so flavorful. Oh my gosh. It's got like this kind of like sweet, 
almost soy glaze on it. And then this little tiny spice element. Mm. Again, super tender, really nice consistency to it. Nice, rich, beefy flavor. That's, that's a rock star, y'all. I'm gonna gain like three kilograms by the time I leave this place. This, this food is unreal so far. This, straight up, 4.7 rocket ships. Awesome, as good as, as raw beef gets. Let's go ahead, because I know a lot of y'all out there, maybe not into fish, maybe not into raw meat. That's where we got the chicken teriyaki with this like, look at that. It's like the little, little tiniest, cutest mashed potato. That's nice. You get, you get some carbs and starches in there to break up all the protein we're about to have. Okay, chicken teriyaki time, pow. Mmm, mmm. Really nice, it's so sweet. The sauce they're using on it is so thick, I gotta say. After uh, eating the fish, this is, this is a little more tougher uh, than, I, than I'm used to or usually like, but good flavor all around. You've got like the green scallions on top as well, and then the little tiny broccoli and uh, tomato boys over there. I would give this 3.1 rocket ships for the chicken teriyaki, but here we got the classic California roll though. Maybe, maybe it's not a California roll, my bad. I believe this is a rainbow roll. Pow, wait, wait, we gotta dip it in before we say pow. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna let it sit in there for just a second. We're gonna let that rice absorb all that soy sauce, all that wasabi, all those flavors. Okay, pow. Mmm, mmm. I can't believe this is Bangladesh. I did not expect this kind of food here in a million years. This is fresh to death. And just so y'all know, this is not an ad or anything. They're not paying me to talk about the food. This is, this is straight up capital I. Incredible, genuine, real wasabi. The rice, fluffy, so, so good, cooked to perfection. And man, just all the different flavors of, of the fish in there and the avocado and that's, that, that, that's, a, that's a killer, killer roll, y'all. That's a 4.4 4. 4 rocket ship roll. I would definitely get that again. We got the salmon. I love salmon. Salmon definitely in like my top three fishes, no joke. Boom, oh wow. You already know it's gonna be good when it just like, just falls apart like that with the chopsticks. Ooh, looks like we kinda got like a little spinach. A little, a little like, uh, what would I call that? Some sort of like spinach puree underneath with, hmm, I'm not sure, something yellow in there? That's corn, pow. Now this was cooked, this was grilled. Amazing grilled flavor to it. I think they've given us like a little butter sauce too, so why don't we just, let's stop wasting time. Pour that right over. Man, that's good. The richness of the salmon really does a good job of absorbing like the spinach um, flavor here of this puree. And there's this nice sweetness overall to it as well that I'm really, really digging. And of course you got the tomato if you need a little bit of the acidic element in there. All right, let's try it with this butter sauce now. Pow. That's so good. That is so, so good. The grill flavor coming off it. It's definitely been like marinated in something. All of these dishes, I'm just, I'm just absolutely in love with. If you can't come to a Japanese restaurant like this and not try some of the fried rice, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Just boom. Oh, that's dense. That's really, really dense fried rice. This, this is heavy. They do a really good job of compacting a lot of rice into a tiny little space here. Oh. Take a look at that, baby. We got some, it's egg fried rice, so there's nice big chunks of egg in there. We've got some green onion as well. Pow. Mmm, mmm. Oh my God. The garlic flavor. I forgot, they told me it's garlic fried rice. It's so strong. It's so powerful. It's so delicious. Rice, really well cooked, tender, fluffy. It's moist all throughout. That's a banging. That is a banging, banging fried rice. Wow. I don't see any pieces of garlic in there, but wherever that like garlic flavor or garlic essence is coming from, straight up, straight up rocking my world, y'all. All I want is garlic fried. I never want regular fried rice again. I only want garlic fried rice. Wow. 4.6 rocket chips for the garlic fried rice. That is a proper, proper fried rice. Now we've got the fritters. I, for the life of me, I can't remember what, what kind of fritters they are. Maybe they're shrimp, I think it gotta be shrimp or prawn, prawn fritters. Cause yeah, there we go. These are definitely prawn fritters. I thought they gave me some kind of dipping sauce, but 
We, we don't, I'll kill it, no fill it. We don't got time for the dipping sauce. Pow. Mmm. Mmm. So crispy, so crunchy on the outside. The prawn on the inside, also really juicy. Also super, super tender. Great, neutral prawn flavor to it. That is, that is amazing. These have been kind of sitting out for a little bit while I've been eating all the other dishes. So they've just gotten a little bit like harder and crunchier than they normally would. But in my mind, I have a good idea what they would be like fresh. And these are killer, like so dense. These are some like massive, massive proms. They're, they, they ain't no little guys. They ain't no little shrimpies, you dig? They've also put on like this kind of nori seaweed seasoning on top. I can't believe I didn't try the, the piping hot boiling plate next to me. This uh, seafood stir fry. I'm gonna pick it up and hopefully I don't burn my fingertips off. Oh good, it's, it's cooled down just a little bit. Look at this. Look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what, what we've got in here. I'm seeing some shrimp. Some prawns. Okay, I think he's got to be crab claws just because they're, they're so small. Pow. The flavor on all, on every piece of seafood in here is just crazy. It's, it's just a straight up triumph. I don't, I don't even know what else to say. What else can we pull out of here? Ooh, what is this? Oh, I think this, this is a tentacle, octopus, squid, pow. Mm, that's really good. The spicy sauce. There's also a nice little sweet element to it as well. Obviously squid, octopus, calamari, a little chewier, but I like it. It's a nice contrast to everything else that was so like, um, so soft and, and so tender. The stir fry, seafood platter, just a triumph. 4.9 rocket chips, because I really can't imagine it getting any better. It's got everything you would want in a seafood platter. Great variety of fish, uh, shellfish, crustaceans, and just a tremendous flavor. Overall, and there were some like little, like maybe bamboo shoots or maybe green onions in there, but that was just as close to perfect as we get, y'all. And this is it. Last but not least, even though it's the last dish, what do we have here? It looks like we've got some mango on the bottom, and then some avocado, and then some more of that sashimi grade, what I believe is tuna on top. I think a lot of the different uh, dishes we tried. Oh, there's, we did miss one dish back there. I, I was like, where's the tuna? There's, there's the tuna. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get into that. All right. This one might be just a little bit difficult with the chopsticks. Don't judge me. So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab just a big old, a big old spoonful. Pow! Come on, man. Come on, man. Whoa! The combination, the sweetness of the mango mixed with oh, there's roe on top too. There's fish eggs on top. No wonder. This is, this is umami. This is so many different flavors. They're all amazing. There's also this spicy sauce on the side. Stupid, insane. This is 4.9 rocket chips, like in, incredible, incredible. Spicy, sweet, the, the I love loving the, like the texture balance. It's a very like creamy. It's almost like desserty in appearance with the mango element, but I would, I would simply, devour this every every single day i, I want to end the video and stop talking and, and just eat this all up wow Ooh. okay so here's the sashimi dome bowl this is actually how we're going to end things we got the edamame you got to get the edamame for that fiber baby protein pack we got more avocado and i'm pretty sure we got eel here actually eel is probably my favorite type of sushi all around pow It's melt in your mouth. It's so, so tender. We're not even gonna bother with the rice because we know what rice tastes like. That is insanely, insanely good. And then I believe this is uh, a salmon sashimi and then some tuna sashimi. So all raw, pow. Mm -hmm. This is a 4.4, 4.4 rocket ship uh, sashimi dome bowl. Like everything was, everything here the, the, the only, th this, this, this was just good, but everything else was great. Everything else was either great to extraordinary. Oh, come on now, did you really think we were gonna wrap up the video without having a little sweet treat uh, to end things? Yo, ma major shout out to the staff and everybody here. These guys truly treated me like, like a king. No wonder like the, the celebrities, the rich and powerful come to this place. They tell me we've got some sort of coconut dessert 
This is coconut ice cream. And then we've got this like, kind of looks to be like a spiced cashew mix in here. And then this, th this looks like a bar of soda. Look like a jiggy 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 jiggy. That, that looks so appetizing. They told me they've got like coconut on top and then the coconut water has been like, who knows what kind of magic they used to make this. Okay, now we got some of that cashew mixture. We got some of the jelly mixture and we got the coconut ice cream. Pow! The most like richest, flavorful, coconutty dessert. It's so cool. It's so cold. Well, obviously it's ice cream and this is cold, but like the combination of it all, it's so, so creamy. There's this crazy like, how to describe it? Like a floral element to whatever spice they've used on these cashews here. Where, where is that coming from? Like, this is an insanely aromatic dessert. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. That's how good it is. You got the crazy softness, the, the smoothness of this super like ultra, ultra moist coconutty jello. You've got the creaminess of the ice cream, and then this like powdered coconut on top, and then you get that nice crunch texture from the, the cashews. Sweet, savory, again, like very like florally. Like I feel like there might be like a little lime essence in here too. This was an all-star. 4.9 rocket chips. Would definitely, definitely get it again. And that's that, y'all. Just absolutely stuffed to the gills. No pun intended, just because I ate a bunch of fish. Man, that, I mean, you, you heard me say it all. That was like a, a un, unreal, unreal meal. It checked all the boxes, uh, delicious. Staff was super nice and cool. A manager came to talk to me at the end and, and it gave me some information about the place, but I, I don't even know what I can say. I, I need a nap. I, I, I haven't eaten that much food in so long. I haven't eaten that much good food in so long. My name is Brent Tim from Dhaka, Bangladesh in Golshan. The sun is just starting to descend. And I'm saying ciao for now. Sorry, I can't do the peace sign holding the bag.